This problem states if the cosine of angle A equals 4 fifths and the measure of angle A lies between 0 and pi over 2, find the exact value of the sine of A over 2. Since I need to find the sine of A divided by 2, I'm going to need a half angle identity for the sine function. Here it is, the sine of A over 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine A, all divided by 2. Now to use this formula, we need to know the cosine of angle A. Is that what we were given up here? Yes, excellent. I do not need to find any other trig functions for angle A. I can just use this value in my formula over here. However, before I use this formula, I need to figure out, am I going to use the plus or the minus sign? That all depends on the quadrant of angle A over 2. We know angle A lies between 0 and pi over 2, so if I take this inequality and divide each part by 2, I get 0 divided by 2 is 0, is less than A over 2, is less than, now how do we divide a fraction by a whole number? You turn the number in the denominator into a fraction by dividing it by 1. Then you take the fraction in the numerator and multiply it by the reciprocal of the fraction in the denominator, so the reciprocal of 2 over 1 is 1 half. So angle A over 2 lies between 0 and pi times 1 is pi over 2 times 2 is 4. So A over 2 lies between 0 and pi over 4. Pi over 4 is in quadrant 1, therefore angle A over 2 is also in quadrant 1. All trig functions are positive in quadrant 1, so I'm going to pick the positive sign on my formula over here. So my formula becomes the sine of A over 2 is the positive square root of 1 minus cosine A divided by 2. So all I have to do is plug 4 fifths in for the cosine of A in my formula. So I don't need to write the plus, so I just have the sine of A over 2 is the square root of 1 minus cosine A is 4 fifths, all divided by 2. Now all it is is messy fractional arithmetic. So I have 1 minus 4 fifths, I need a common denominator, turn 1 into a fraction by dividing it by 1. My common denominator is going to be 5, multiply 1 over 1 by 5 over 5, I get 5 fifths minus 4 fifths, all divided by 2. Now I have a common denominator in the numerator, 5 fifths minus 4 fifths is 5 minus 4 is 1 fifth. And I'm going to divide it by 2. I'm going to turn 2 into a fraction by dividing it by 1. So I have the square root of 1 fifth. Remember, you divide fractions by taking the fraction in the numerator and multiplying it by the reciprocal of the fraction in the denominator. The reciprocal of 2 over 1 is 1 half. So I'm going to get the square root of 1 times 1 is 1 over 5 times 2 is 10. So I'm going to get the square root of 1 over the square root of 10. And this gives the sine of a over 2 equals the square root of 1 is 1 divided by the square root of 10. Can we simplify that? No, 10 is just 2 times 5, so I just have 1 divided by the square root of 10. And that is the exact answer for the sine of A over 2, as long as you don't have to rationalize your denominator. But if you're asked to rationalize the denominator, you take 1 over the square root of 10 and multiply it by the square root of 10 
over the square root of 10. 1 times the square root of 10 is just the square root of 10 divided by the square root of 10 times the square root of 10 is just 10. And that is the answer for the sine of a over 2 if you have to rationalize your denominator.